My name is Haroon Rashid. I'm a third year at UCLA. I'm a bioengineering major and I'm from the Bay Area. So tell me a little bit about the bioengineering major at UCLA. Uh, so it's actually a really broad major, which I really love about it. Um, I get to touch all sorts of different disciplines, everything from electrical engineering to physics. There's a couple of requirements where you have to take um, up to calculus and math, up to multivariable actually. Um, actually differential equations, apologies. <laughs> we have to do a couple of life science classes, we have to do some thermodynamics, and then when you get into your upper derivatives, it's more about your own specialization. Because it's such a broad major, you can specialize in anything from like drug delivery to even in a biotechnology or anything like that, so I really love it. So have you already decided on your like focus within the field? Yeah, so I've chosen my technical breadth, is what the specialization is called here. I've chosen my technical breadth to be in pre-med actually, so I would be using those six or so classes that you have for technical breath in um, fulfilling my pre-med requirements. So doing organic chemistry, doing more biology, doing physiology, gotcha. stuff like that. How does bioengineering sort of like give you like a different into medicine than like maybe somebody who's just taking like biology or other pre-med courses? Right, so I think that plays into really like why I chose bioengineering as, as a major. Um, part of the reason I chose it is because it's so, it's so focused on the engineering aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of the future of medicine is going to be in biotechnology. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I'm taking classes, like I said, like physics and electrical engineering and stuff like that, right. gives me more of a perspective and more of a thorough understanding of the technologies that I might be using in the future. In addition to that, bioengineering is special in the engineering school in that it has a lot of the same requirements that you would need to do if you were pre-med. So it helps along that track as well. So we are now in the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Is this where like most of your classes are or? Yeah, so most of my lower divs were definitely here um, in addition to Young, uh, but we'll transition to the bioengineering department as we go into our operatives. So you are the president of the Engineering Society at UCLA. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do. So the Engineering Society at UCLA is the umbrella organization for old engineering clubs here. Mm -hmm. So the 20 or so clubs, everything from the American Society of Civil Engineers to ACM, which is the Computer Science Society. A lot of the events we do are for the entire student body rather than a specific group of majors. You have your hands in all the different engineering projects on campus and you're really kind of representing engineering to the rest of the campus. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of our work is, is done with the admin, so we're, we're kind of the bridge between the student body and the administration of um, UCLA engineering as well. Uh, so I actually was an intern here in the Engineering Society my freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, after that, last year I was the alumni chair and I hosted a few alumni events and now this year I was lucky enough to be selected as president and I've been trying to do my best to, to earn that right. So how does your work with the Engineering Society sort of play into what you're studying in the classroom or vice versa? What the engineering school is missing. So while the engineering school definitely gives me a STEM background, it definitely teaches me the math, the physics, the sciences that I'll need to do my job, the Engineering Society teaches me the leadership roles, the social skills, the communication skills that I would need to do to be an effective doctor and an engineer. Yep. That was good. Such a good answer. Good answer. <laughs> uh. So outside of the Engineering Society, what other extracurriculars are you involved in? Uh, so I do volunteer. Um, there's two main places I volunteer at. One is the Venice Family Clinic, which is in Santa Monica. Um, that's a clinic that serves underprivileged and uh, poor sections of the community. Um, in addition to that, I also volunteer at a walkathon that's held at UCLA called the Walk to Cure Arthritis. And um, last year, I was the chair for that, and we raised somewhere around like $200,000. Wow. But a lot of it is takes place in this area, actually, which is really cool. And we do a wide walk around campus to um, celebrate um, patients who suffer from arthritis and to help raise money for them. And then are you also involved like with like academic work or like helping professors with their classes? Yeah, so what I do um, on the side of, what I did last year actually was I served as a learning assistant here, which in essence is an undergraduate TA. Mm -hmm. And are these for classes that you've already taken and done like super well in or? Yeah, yeah, so you have, to, you have to have done decently in the class at least. Um, but the program is very receptive to anybody who wants, who wants to come in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It helps um, facilitate your understanding of it because you have to teach it now. 
So um, yeah, it's a great opportunity. I did it for physics as I, which I hated before. I and now you're teaching other people physics. Yeah, exactly. So like whenever somebody comes in and says like, oh, you know, I hate physics. I never could understand it. I said, you know, I, I did too. And now here I am. Right. You can, trust me, you can. Um, but yeah, that's really fun. That's really fun. So when you're not in class and you're not with your extracurriculars, what are you doing just to like have fun around here? Uh, so just personally, there's a couple of things that I like to do. I always think that exercising is a great way to de-stress from the day. Mm -hmm. So I always go to the John Wooden Center, usually four to five times per week to just get any sort of workout in. Um, besides that, I really like writing. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to publish a book as well, so I love storytelling and I work on that in my free time. But just around UCLA, there's so many opportunities. There's, there's things that anywhere from within UCLA, like dance groups you can do, mm -hmm. martial arts you could do, um, movie screenings that you can go to. Um, but outside of UCLA, you can go to Santa Monica, you can go to the Ellen Show, which is really popular, you can go on hikes, there's all sorts of things around here. Have you been to the Ellen Show? I have not, but I really want to go. And Disneyland is not that far away either. I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's like the Hail Mary of like the best places to go. So you can like make a weekend of it and like hit oh, all that up. Oh, not a weekend. You can make four years of it. <laughs> that's a good answer. So what was the most surprising thing about UCLA? So that's interesting. Um, I think the most surprising thing really is how much the small things matter here. So when you're going throughout your college experience, you usually look for the big things. You look for like which one has the best academics, which one has the best sports, if you're into that, which one has the best social life. But for me coming to UCLA, I realized that it really has a mixture of all of that. And it also has these small things that just get you through your day. For example, like the view we have here, right? You're walking back from class, a stressful day. You look out at the view and realize that, hey, like there's bigger things than just, than just grades in class. Um, you go to the dining halls. We, have the, one of the, we are the best food, I think, in the nation. We have the best dining hall food in the nation. So especially if you're on the hill, you can go back to some great food. Right. And just the people here as well are very like, welcoming and warm to be around. It's overall just a great environment to be growing up in a college environment. I think definitely establishing a good work ethic in high school is important because you come to college and the quarter system here, especially at UCLA, is very fast. You need to be on top of your game every single day. Um, but in terms of just the overall college experience, I would say come in with an open mind, especially coming to UCLA, which is such a diverse campus. You're going to be talking to and interacting with people from all different walks of life and you're going to be learning something from every single one of them. So I would say keep an open mind, establish a good work ethic, and be sure to have fun at the same time. It's not all about grades and academics. If you like this video and you want to learn more about top colleges, please subscribe. Come on, it's right. Come on, right there. <laughs>